Welcome to this video about introduction to the IPS8 air purger. In this IPS8 introduction video, we will give you a short introduction to the IPS8, show you the working principle of the IPS8, show you the recommended installation of the IPS8, and finally show you an IPS8 installation example. The Danfoss IPS8 Intelligent Purging System is a standalone, self-contained purging unit designed to remove non-condensable gases from industrial R717 ammonia refrigeration systems. Here you see indicated the IPS8 located in an ammonia refrigeration system. The correct connection locations of the IPS8 are shown here for low pressure liquid level control installation and they are on top of the receiver or on top of the liquid in the drop leg from the condenser. Alternatively, here you see the location of the IPS8 in a high pressure liquid level controlled installation. You can find more information about the IPS8 connection locations in the online IPS8 installation videos and in the IPS8 user guide. Here you see an image of the IPS8 as well as an IPS8 demo model and the key components which are compressor, self-straining heat exchanger, also known as the evaporator, condenser, pressure transmitters and temperature sensors, electrical box for controller and solenoid valve wiring, flanks connection for the ammonia refrigeration system, blow-off pipe connection, and LLS electronic liquid level switch. The ammonia flanks connection, the blow-off pipe connection, and the LLS electronic liquid level switch are the only mechanical connections to and from the IPS8. And it is important to know the locations of these connections, together with the location of the electrical connections to and from the electrical box so that you can do a correct and safe mechanical and electrical installation of the IPS8. You can find more information about the IPS8 design in the IPS8 user guide. Here you see illustrated the IPS8 as two circuits, an internal R452A circuit and an external R717 circuit. You also see specified all the main components included in the IPS8. The IPS8 air purging working principle can be described in a simplified way as follows. Gaseous R717 coming from one or several purge points enters through the flanks 13 and condenses in the heat exchanger 12 and liquid R717 then returns by gravity through the flanks 13. Non-condensable gas accumulates and gradually fills the heat exchanger 12. When the volume of non-condensable gas increases, then the pressure in the R452A circuit, also called PSAT setting, decreases. When the pressure reaches a predefined lower limit, then the solenoid valve 16 opens. The non-condensable gas is then removed through the restrictor 18. The pressure then increases again and the air purging process repeats itself. You can find more information about the IPS8 working principle in the IPS8 user guide. Here you see illustrated the principle diagram of a recommended IPS8 installation where the IPS8 is located on top of the receiver. The diagram includes all the main components used between the IPS8, the condenser, the receiver, the liquid separator, the low pressure site, and the water tank. The diagram also shows the purge point with gaseous R717 after the condenser as indicated here. As seen here, the diagram is supported by two installation examples showing two purge points with gaseous R717 after the condenser. As mentioned earlier, this gaseous R717 then enters into the IPS8 as seen here and is further processed as also mentioned earlier. We will not go into details here since you can find more information about the IPS8 installation in the online IPS8 installation videos and in the IPS8 user guide. Here you see a practical example of an installation of the IPS8. There are many steps and concerns to take into account when installing the IPS8. This is handled in separate online IPS8 installation videos and specified in the IPS8 user guide. The main steps of the IPS8 installation procedure are shown shortly in the following sequences. The 
Please note that we have an IPS8 demo box available, which can be used to efficiently demonstrate how to start up the IPS8, understand the IPS8 controller display, operate the IPS8 controller keypads, understand and simulate IPS8 alarms, simulate the IPS8 purging process, and do advanced IPS8 settings. All these IPS8 topics are handled in separate online IPS8 demo box videos. You have now completed the IPS8 introduction video, so now you have received a short introduction to IPS8, you know the simplified working principle of the IPS8, you know the recommended installation of the IPS8, and finally you have seen the main steps of an IPS8 installation example. All this ensuring a good understanding of the IPS8 air purchase function and the main steps in the IPS8 installation. Please check out the other online videos about IPS8 demo box. Have a look at the other online learnings about the Danfoss IPS8 air purchaser. Thanks for watching.